to plan your work as a backlog and how to create cards and track your work and manage a backlog when you have many things to do, right? So whether you are working in a, in a complex project where with uh, lots of people involved, with lots of clients, or it, maybe you're developing a product, you're creating something that you're going to use, it's a good idea to have a backlog. So a backlog is basically a repository of ideas. It's a place, it, it, we can do uh, like a Trello board, for example, where we're going to add information from everything that we need to work on. And uh, you can use user stories for this. So let me show you an example. Uh, I have a Trello board here. This is an example of a backlog. Let's say that we are working in designing a new software. It's an app where you can download your pictures and you can create filters, you can change things, you can change the colors. That's what we, we are going to create, right? We have a development team and we're working on that. How exactly are we going to track all the work that we need to do? You can use user stories. So let me focus here. So basically we can break down the project, we can organize the tasks in epics. So for example, of course, when we have this software working, our users will need to sign in. They need to have an account. They will need to import image. They need to edit the images and they need to be able to also share images, right? So they, they added the filters, they improved their pictures and they want to post it in Instagram or in Facebook. So share image is an important piece of this work. Okay, so we have a general idea of everything that we needed to do, but also there are specific things that users need to do. So for example, in, in sign in, they need to enter their username and password. Otherwise they won't be able to use this app. They need to resend password. Let's say that they forget what their password is, right? We need to have a code in place in which users can resend their password. They need to change. So all of these are examples of user stories. For example, recent password. Maybe it's clear if you look at the title, recent password, you, you, you might understand. But if you want to make things even more clear, you can even add a description here. So for example, this is called user story statement. So as a user, I want to receive a new password in my email so that I don't get blocked from access if I forget my password. So you can also include these statements. You can include lots of attributes, lots of data here to, to each card. The focus is not only on making information available to everyone, but especially to make it easier to communicate with your team. If I have a card where I have lots of details, I have a description that is very clear, our team or specifically the developer that is going to work on this user story, it will be very clear what exactly is expected. We can use other techniques as well. We can use, for example, definition of done. We can describe exactly how we would like this to work uh, when this is done. We can add attributes from other uh, frameworks. For example, here we're using story points. We can add points from of how complex this story is. So for example, if it's something very simple to do, we can add one or two story points. If it's uh, something very complex, we can add seven, 10 story points. Here we, we, we have added three, and this is how complex the card is. Also something related to story points. Well, uh, there are other techniques, of course, there are many. You can use like t-shirt sizes. This is uh, another approach. So you, you can tell if this is a card, if it's a small, medium or large sized work. But well, in general, the idea is you, you are working on a project or a, a product and you have many things to do. One of the options that you have is to organize them by epic and by, by user story. And you can add information to the cards. And when you have the project by placker enabled, so you can see here that I have projects by placker, you will be able to add many attributes such as uh, story points, such as also priority. You can set if priority is high, medium or low. You can break down tasks into sprints. One of the ideas of Agile frameworks is that you don't usually start working in everything at the same time. You need to select some things to work first. So you can add sprints, for example, lots of different things when you click add plan attribute, budget, traffic light, and all of this. So backlog is a place where you add all your, your cards. So you, you have everything, all the ideas are recorded. And then we're going to uh, go to the next phases 
where we start working on these cards.